guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have something awesome to take a look at today. We have another beautiful resin model. If you can recall, quite a ways back, I had reviewed a Charles R. Knight-inspired model that was sculpted by Joe Ladotti, and it was a Tyrannosaurus from the famous painting of Charles R. Knight. Well, we now have another version of a Charles R. Knight Tyrannosaurus to take a look at, yet again, sculpted by the infamous Joe Ladotti. And this is an equally beautiful version of a Charles R. Knight Tyrannosaurus. And you can see here, once we actually, you know, pan out and take a look at the entire thing together, it is a gorgeous interpretation of this famous painting from Charles R. Knight. And again, the paintwork here and stuff was done by me. What you see on this actual model here was painted by me and it was my interpretation of what I can you know visually make out there in the image so it's about you know as best as I think I could get it for what I perceive as the coloration of the Tyrannosaurus and I feel like it's a picture perfect type of a coloration for that old school vintage style Tyrannosaurus because they always had that kind of like ugly not so colorful sort of dirty looking appearance to them and I felt like it turned out pretty nicely as far as that goes but the model itself is just an incredible interpretation of that Charles R. Knight painting just beautiful all around so let's go ahead get a closer look at it right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Rex you can see straight away that from a detailing standpoint it looks really nice and again incredibly faithful to the way that the Tyrannosaurus appears in the original artwork of Charles R. Knight, I feel like he captured the overall texturing to the scale detail here on the face and everything really beautifully. And if we turn it around and take a look at the opposing side again, you can see just how nice it looks on both sides. Joe has sculpted out the nostrils as well as the detailing there around the eye really quite nicely. You can also see the ear is sculpted out back here. And again, some beautiful texturing to the skin on this side of the face. The mouth is open, as you can see a little bit right there, and we can see the teeth in there as well as the tongue. The tongue does appear to have a really nice textured appearance to it, and the teeth also look really quite nice as each of the teeth are sculpted individually, and they look insanely nice as far as the realism aspect of the teeth go. Again, taking beautiful old paintings like Charles R. Knight, artwork and then kind of bringing them to life in a very realistic way is something that I feel like Joe Ladotti has done continuously with his Charles R. Knight inspired models and not only just his Charles R. Knight models like pretty much anything as far as vintage dinosaurs go you probably won't find any better than what Joe Ladotti creates. You can see more of the really nice scale detail up here on the top of the head of our Rex as we lead back into the neck you could see lots of like creasing and everything going on here as we run along the back of the neck but you could just see tons of skin wrinkles and everything as you get closer to the throat area of our Tyrannosaurus and again a little bit of hanging skin here in general in the throat region which looks really cool. As we move down into the body you've got those beautiful Tyrannosaurus arms again nowhere near accurate as to what we would see on a Tyrannosaurus today but you can see that as far as the way Charles R. Knight had interpreted them they look great and Joe Ladotti has captured those perfectly as well displaying some pretty nice looking muscle definition as well as like some scoots down the course of the fingers you also have some very nicely sculpted out claws right there as you move back up into the body you can see kind of like some skin wrinkles and stuff and just generally some really nice movement shown in the sculpt of the Rex as you lead back up here you can see like some osteoderms picking up here and there just some little ones nothing over the top or major you can make out the spinal column a little bit up there on the top but not too much the hip bone is somewhat present over here as we lead back into the body and you can definitely see again some more nice muscle definition in the thigh of the tyrannosaurus as well as some nice creasing and everything going on the kneecap is present here in the front of the knee as you move down into the foot the foot looks really nice we do have a scoot like appearance to the front of the foot running down into the toes and again the nails are sculpted out beautifully and the nails themselves actually sport some really nice detail to them also like some nice cracks and crevices and everything included within the nails and if you look at the opposing foot you can see a dew claw present right there 
And then as we lead back up into the tail, again, you could see some more wrinkles and everything right here behind the thigh. And then you lead out the length of the tail, and the tail looks really nice, has a very long appearance to it. A nice curve as you lead out the length of the tail, it curves all the way back around pretty much, and it looks really, really nice as far as a detailing standpoint. But also just generally the appearance to the tail looks really beautiful. And then again, if we take a look at the opposing side, you can see again, we already looked at the head. The neck detail isn't all that different on this side compared to the previous side. We have lots of like creases and wrinkles and everything going on, but the Rex is walking straight forward. It has its head totally straight forward, so you wouldn't really see too much difference on this side in comparison to what we had just seen on the previous side. But moving down here into the body, there's definitely some difference as the left leg is pushing forward a lot further than the trailing right leg. So you can see how the skin is kind of wrinkling and bunching up here in the stomach region of our Tyrannosaurus. Again, the arm is almost in the same position on this side as what we had seen on the previous side, just slightly different, but the leg is in a much more different position. But again, the actual you know skin wrinkling and everything has been shown beautifully in the sculpt. And you can see again, the texturing in general of the dinosaur looks really good. You can see the hip bone again over here on this side, some more beautiful muscle definition in the thigh, as well as the calf as you lead down the course of the leg, you can pick out the kneecap and just generally like the structure of the leg looks really good. And then you of course have again a scoot like appearance down the course of the foot into the toes, which you can see a little bit better over here on this side compared to the previous side and the nails again sport a very highly detailed appearance to them. Like you can really see again the cracks and crevices on this side and I have applied a nice dark wash so the, hopefully that helps to show you just how nice that detailing aspect is. And now you can see the dew claw over here on the opposing side. As you lead back up here you can kind of see like the skin stretching off of the tail and everything right here as this leg is pulling forward so far. And then as we move out further into the tail you can see that the tail again looks beautiful just like it did on the previous side. Again I've given it a nice kind of like a striping to the tail as we move out the length of the tail with that really long curve out here to the tail. But honestly this is a fantastic and a picture perfect interpretation of that vintage Charles R. Knight artwork. And again, the underside is absolutely beautifully sculpted in every possible way, perfectly to what the Tyrannosaurus looks like in the Charles R. Knight artwork. And of course, the paintwork was done by me. So that's just my interpretation of what the Rex looks like paint wise. And then you also have a base that comes with your Rex, which does include some footprints here for the Tyrannosaurus to stand in, as well as a nice earthy area in general, but lots of like rocks and stuff around. Again, sort of replicating the area that the Tyrannosaurus was walking in, in the artwork that Charles R. Knight had created. And I feel like Joe Ladotti has done a beautiful job on this as well. Again, a very highly detailed base to go with an incredibly highly detailed vintage Tyrannosaurus model. And then on the underside, we actually have the Jola Dottie autograph, which is super awesome to top the entire thing off. But again, this is a fantastic base to go with a fantastic model. As far as applying your Tyrannosaurus to the base, there's not really much you could do other than put the feet into the footprints there and then it should stand quite nicely. However, I am intending on gluing mine to the base as soon as this review is over because I like to make sure that they stay on there as solid as possible and do not fall over to prevent any damage occurring to the model. But again, it stands pretty nicely without the glue on it, but I just like that extra comfort of knowing it's glued on. As far as a size goes, it is definitely a pretty sizable model. For a length on the tail to the head, you are looking at about 16 inches, just about, or about 40 and a half centimeters. And then for a height, the highest point is definitely the head. You're looking at about seven and a half inches or around the 19 centimeter range, maybe even a little higher than that. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon next to our Joe Ladotti, Charles R. Knight inspired Tyrannosaurus Rex, and you can definitely see that it sports a very large and impressive size overall, which is something that I've always found when it comes to a Joe Ladotti model. You are definitely getting a lot of quality and a lot of bang for your buck, so you get a very highly detailed kit and on top of that, a very sizable kit with a very impressive appearance. Once it's actually built and put together, you can definitely see that it's pretty much a centerpiece style model of any collection. And hopefully this comparison will help to show you that. So this is the second Charles R. Knight inspired Joe Ladotti Tyrannosaurus model to hit my channel. And it is equally as beautiful, I would say, as the first one. 
This, of course, is a very different style Tyrannosaurus, but still at the same time having that very vintage look to it. And one of the things that impressed me so much with the initial Joe Ladotti, Charles R. Knight Tyrannosaurus, was just how good Joe is at picking up every ounce of detail that you see in the images and bringing it to life in his models. Like, with the initial one, there were like three fingers on the Rex, and that's obviously not what Tyrannosaurus had, so it was really cool that he captured even that. But this time we do have, you know, a little bit closer to what an accurate Tyrannosaurus would be, as this time we do have two fingers on the hands, as opposed to three on the previous one. But at the same time, this is an incredibly gorgeous interpretation of the most vintage of Tyrannosaurs, and it's probably one of the most iconic Tyrannosaurs of all time. Like, it was pretty much everywhere when I was a child growing up would have been this image created by Charles R. Knight. So it was always something that had a very special place in my heart and something that I knew I really wanted to have a model of in my collection. And when you think, well, I really want a model of this super awesome vintage old dinosaur, where should I go? You gotta go to Joe Ladotti because he has created probably almost every vintage dinosaur, I would say at this point, or at least close, especially when it comes to like movie inspired dinosaurs and stuff. Joe is pretty much the guy when it comes to vintage dinosaurs and uh, acquiring beautiful models of them. And you can definitely see that here with both the previous Tyrannosaurus I reviewed and now this one here. Again, he has captured the overall appearance of this Rex perfectly, almost to the point of it feeling like he literally just grabbed a hold of that painting and then just pulled the Tyrannosaurus out of it and handed it over to me, well, I guess sent it through the mail, in kit form. But every ounce of detail, I feel like, on this Rex matches perfectly to the painting that it was inspired by. And the model overall was an absolute blast, as usual, to build and paint. And I especially love vintage dinosaurs when creating models and building and painting them. I just absolutely love building and painting vintage dinosaurs. So this one was, you know, even more fun than usual. So I must say that I highly recommend anybody that has not ever acquired a resin model before to make sure you do because it's just such a ton of fun to you know paint something up and build it and create it kind of in your vision as far as the color scheme goes and then you can sit back and be proud of what you have accomplished but even if you are an experienced builder and painter of models this is a great way to go yet again because it is a fantastic model especially if you are a fan of vintage dinosaurs like I am this is the best way to go I would say so if you are interested in this again make sure you check the links in the description as usual because I will include a link in the description to where you can buy this on the Jola Dotty website the paintwork here of course was done by me so if you do order one you will get yourself an unbuilt and unpainted kit and I believe you could possibly have it painted up by Joe, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So that's something you would have to contact him to inquire further about. But either way, this is a huge recommendation from me. So make sure you check the link in the description. Go buy this fantastic Charles R. Knight inspired Tyrannosaurus from Joe Ladotti. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.